A Walk Among the Tombstones. Finally, a movie where Liam Neeson plays a badass. A Walk Among the Tombstones is based on a series of books. Liam Neeson plays this former New York City police detective who's had his issues in the past and he's tried to put those behind him and now he works as a private investigator. This guy's wife is kidnapped and killed and Liam Neeson is hired to find the dicks that did it and, uh, you know, uh, bring about some Liam Neeson justice. I didn't really know anything about this movie before I walked in the theater. I was thinking maybe it'd be like, uh, it'd be like Taken or, you know, something along those lines. It's not. It's an investigation movie. It reminded me a lot of uh, Zodiac or uh, Prisoners that came out last year. Liam Neeson, he is great as playing an older guy that can kick ass and shoot guns and outsmart bad guys, but his character has a lot more depth in this movie. He's got this past that he's been dealing with and it's been a real drag on his life. So yeah, Liam Neeson is interesting and compelling and then this kid shows up that he kind of takes a liking to and uh, like I said before, kid actors can be fucking horrible. This kid, he was pretty good. He could hold his own with the adult actors. I enjoyed the look of this movie a lot. It had this nice gritty quality to it. It made New York City look seedy, but not too seedy, and it really captured the nervousness that was in the air in 1999 with Y2K and the whole turn of the century thing. And the movie had some nice camera work too. The sound was something I took notice of early on in the movie. The guns were loud as hell. Like, uh, you know how guns are in real life. He shot had this energy to it, uh, I could feel it like I was there. Sometimes with these investigation movies they can leave you bored, but I can say that I was never bored during a walk among the tombstones. I was always engaged, trying to piece together the puzzle, figure out what happens next. I don't know if it was just me, but I found it kind of hard to remember which name was for what character during Liam Neeson's investigation. It's probably because they just didn't spoon feed you the story. And the bad guys, holy shit, they were fucking creeps. I could not wait for Liam Neeson to find those fucks and have his way with them, because they were uh, they were giving me the chills. When will the bad guys learn? You do not accept a phone call from Liam Neeson. You hang up, and then you block the number. I had a good time with this movie. Is it going to change lives and cure cancer? No, probably not, but I was satisfied with it. So in the end, I'm saying that A Walk Among the Tombstones is seven out of 10 asses. Thank you for watching Talking On My Ass. My name is Jared Cook. Make sure you thumbs up this video, give it a like, and then uh, down below, drop me a comment. Tell me what you thought of A Walk Among the Tombstones if you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, no worries. Just tell me your favorite Liam Neeson movie. He's been in a lot, so you better give me something good. Until next time, I will uh, talk to you later or something. <laughs>